Hello everyone. Welcome to this new video. So in our previous video, we had discussed with some of the questions of module four, right? So that only we are going to continue. Again, the those who have not watched, those who are new new to this video, please go and watch that video. It is available just before this video in our channel. Okay. Also, for first three modules, module one, two, three uh, of this subject, uh, technological innovation and management entrepreneurship, we have discussed some of the very important questions. Totally, including all five modules, we are discussing fifty questions. Okay, around fifty questions. So that you would be scoring around seventy plus. Okay, so the, those fifty questions have picked it from all the previous year question papers, model papers, all of them. Okay, two to three year back question papers, and have provided you some of the repeated and very important questions. Okay, which you need to be referring. Okay, so please watch this video till the end. Also, this PDF would be available in the description. So yeah, so let's continue with where we have left last session. We have discussed five questions, right? So today is it's the sixth question. Define idea generation. Explain its role in creativity and innovation for business development. Okay. So now, what is basically this idea generation? It is the process of creating, developing, and communicating new concepts, ideas, or solutions to problems. This process serves as the foundation for innovation and business growth. Okay. That only. Uh, this is basically the idea generation process of creating, developing, and communicating new concepts. Okay. Sharing new things. Uh. In the form of concepts and development of those things, it is called as a idea generation. Role of idea generation in creativity and innovation. First is it sparks creativity. Uh, idea generation stimulates creative thinking by encouraging individuals to think beyond conventional approaches. For example, brainstorming sessions. Okay, you can see you see nowadays, right? Those sessions are uh, trending a lot. Identifies new opportunities. Generating ideas helps uh, businesses uh, recognize gaps in the market. Or emerging trends that can be capitalized on. For example, identifying the demand for eco-friendly packaging solutions. So next point is drives innovation. Uh, see the explanation. Ideas form the starting point for developing innovative products, services, or business processes. For example, the concept of online food delivery like Zomato, Swiggy, originate from the need of convenience. Okay, innovation. It a uh, uh, role of idea generation innovates new things and nowadays these things are trending right nowadays tomato swiggy and all it's because of the innovation of the uh, user or a thinker okay next is enhances it enhances the problem solving uh, idea generation helps businesses find creative solutions to challenges improving operations and customer satisfaction for example developing automated chatbots to address customer queries efficiently etc fifth point encourages team collaboration okay that is team work would be strengthened and uh, 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 you know working in a group and all would be uh, beneficial in order to work any uh, small scale industry uh, explanation the process fosters collaboration where team members contribute diverse perspectives to refine and expand the ideas okay for example cross functional teams brainstorming to improve product design next is it builds the competitive advantage then uh, last point is supports long term growth okay you can uh, refer these points let's get to the next question what are the key steps in identifying the business opportunities again this is very important question so this question is uh, basically repeated two to three times in previous year question papers you can uh, check it out this question is very important okay the key steps are first is assess the market needs okay Study the market. Uh, uh, identify the unmet needs, gaps, or problems that can be addressed with the product or service. For example, recognizing the increasing demand for EVs in our present uh, society. Okay, uh, we should be recognizing the dem for which product the demand is more. In in that way, we should be assessing the market needs. Okay. Next is analyzing the trends. Observe social, economic, technological, and political trends to spot emerging opportunities. For example, identifying the rise of remote work and creating tools to support the virtual teams. Okay. Next is the study competitors. Analyze the competitors to understand what they are offering, their strengths and areas where they fall short. Okay. All of these you should be analyzing and studying the our competitors so that uh, it would be beneficial for us. Or also we should be taking some lessons from them also in which they are uh, growing. Okay. From that also we can grow our business as well. Okay. Next is uh, leverage personal skills and interests. For example, explanation: uh, Use your own skills, expertise, or hobbies to find opportunities in the market available. For example, a fitness enthusiast launching a unique fitness app tailored to specific user. Okay, like this, launching of new things, 
by uh, analyzing the what is uh, going on in the environment okay by leveraging our personal skill set interests so this is one more point next is conduct feasibility analysis evaluate the practicality and profitability of uh, potential opportunities by analyzing costs resources and market demand for example determining whether there is sufficient demand to open a boutique in a lo local market okay it, this all comes under the feasibility analysis next is engaging with customers engagement is with customers is uh, required because uh, we would be getting one direct eye to eye contact with them about their needs and uh, from with those needs and with our ideas if we mix up together we, we can uh, develop our resources okay for example conducting surveys to learn about customer preferences uh, eco friendly home products okay again uh, we should be asking for reviews okay next is explore innovation again uh, exploring inno innovation and last point is evaluation on legal and regulatory factors okay so these are the points which you need to be remembering so please go through it so let's get to the next question now explain the concept of marketing feasibility with example okay we should be explaining complete uh, determination of what is this uh, marketing feasibility first with the definition part marketing feasibility assesses whether a product or service has enough demand in the target market to be successful it involves evaluating factors like market size customer needs competition pricing and other promotional strategies okay so if whether a product or service has a dem enough demand or not that we can guess when our uh, marketing feasibility uh, is uh, good within the customer requirements okay key components of marketing feasibility first is market analysis we should be analyzing the market completely what are its pros and cons everything we should be knowing and then we should be adapting for the marketing feasibility okay for example a company assessing demands for plant based protein snacks among health conscious consumers next is competitive analysis then we have customer segmentation okay uh, customer segmentation basically means uh, for different customer groups uh, we have different sets of uh, uh, ideas and uh, uh, we should be analyzing those uh, ideas in order to come to a common idea okay that basically is customer segmentation pricing strategy pricing strategy plays a vital role because uh, uh, if uh, the price is uh, more than the expected amount of for any customer to buy then our uh, business would be leading to a loss so at pricing we should be keeping in such a way that the feasibility should be in a, a proper balance okay next is promotional strategy evaluates the effectiveness of planned marketing campaigns and advertising methods to reach the target audience okay some examples are also mentioned here next we have distribution channels risk assessment everything you should be noting down. okay note this down pause the video and you can refer it down also next question what are the key aspects of uh, financial feasibility analysis and explain the concept of economic and social feasibility with real world applications okay aspects are initial investment costs uh, revenue projections operating costs break even analysis all of them okay funding sources risk assessment etc okay you can note it down so this this is the concept of economic feasibility uh, the definition is it evaluates whether the project is economically viable and uh, contributes positively to the economy or not okay uh, one real world example they have mentioned here for uh, they have uh, seen here uh, see here what is written a solar energy project assesses whether the long term cost savings outweigh initial investments and how it contributes to reducing energy costs for users okay so this is a concept of this uh, social feasibility now uh, just a small difference between economic and social feasibility i have just mentioned it it assesses whether the project aligns with societal needs and values ensuring public acceptance and benefits again one real world example is a company launching biodegradable pack packaging okay evaluates how it reduces environmental harm or gains the customer trust okay you can check it out here so last question for this module define technical feasibility how it is evaluated during business plan so very go very important question again okay this question multiple times repeated uh, technical feasibility last time i remember it this was uh, asked okay uh, it assesses whether a business idea or project can be successfully implemented using the available technology infrastructure and resources it focuses on ensuring the technical requirements of the project align with its objectives so these are some of the steps evaluating these uh, technical feasibility during uh, planning of business first is we should be identifying project requirements analyze resource availability uh, performing cost analysis 
test technical solutions and review the scalability of all these things. Okay. So these are key points which you should be remembered. So yeah, one more question we are having. Discuss uh, managerial feasibility and its importance in business success. Okay. So brief explanation along with some of the importance, some points are mentioned here. You can note it down. Okay. So this is the one more question. How does location uh, and utility availability impact business feasibility? So this is uh, not important. Okay. This is not required. So these 11 questions are there, right? Very important. So please go through it. And uh, also for module, first three modules also we have discussed uh, very important questions. Those who have not seen those videos, please go and watch it. It is available in our channel. Okay. Okay. For this video also, like, share, subscribe. Uh, share this uh, video and uh, share this playlist to a huge number guys because the exams are coming near and you should be sharing this with your friends because uh, it would be beneficial for them as well. Okay. Like, share, subscribe guys. Thank you.